At the end of the Blood Curse quest, in Chapter 2 of Roche's Path in The Witcher 2, King Heldsalt is attacked by two assassins. Geralt kills one of the assassins, but one of them escapes. Hensel is understandably upset about this assassination attempt and asks his necromancer, Deathmold, to learn more. Deathmold can perform a ritual with the corpse of the slain assassin to find out more about their motives. This is actually a sub-phase in the main quest, Assassin of Kings. The first step in completing this phase is to find the tent that Deathmold will perform the ritual in. This is as easy as following the quest marker within the camp. Once inside the tent, speak with Deathmold and you'll learn that the ritual will allow Geralt to experience the last memories of the slain assassin. Deathmold will not start the ritual until Geralt has prepared by drinking a Galdwell potion. The next thing Geralt needs to do is head immediately outside of the tent and find Master Myron here. Talk to Master Myron and buy the formula for the Gadwell potion. Next, craft the potion. This is where I recommend saving as part of the ritual is actually failable. If you manage to complete it in its entirety, you'll be rewarded an Xbox or Steam achievement. Now that you've crafted the potion and saved your game, drink the potion and talk to Deathmold. The ritual will begin. Geralt will now be experiencing the last memories of Ox, the slain assassin. In this memory, Ox and Seret, the other assassin, are both making their way to the camp. The first part of this sequence is about combat. Follow Seret and dispatch any enemies in your way. Make sure not to wander off into the fog, else the sequence will need to be retried. You'll end up following Seret to the Kingslayer's hideout. Wait for him to open the door and follow him inside. Once inside, Seret will tell Ox to follow behind him. This is because the area has many traps. Completing the sequence isn't only about avoiding the traps. You must follow Seret's path. Follow slowly behind him and make sure you follow in his same footsteps. If you make a mistake and don't follow him well enough, this part of the sequence will restart. Once you make it past the traps, Seret and Ox will find Letho the Kingslayer. They'll get into a conversation and the choices that you make here do not matter. Once the dialogue completes, Geralt will be experiencing the memories of Ox just before the two assassins sneak into the camp. Now this is a stealth section and it is failable. What you want to do is creep up behind the two soldiers. Wait for them to finish their conversation and they'll part ways. This is where you can sneak past them into the camp or you can do what I did, which was just take one down. Once you've taken out the soldiers or snuck into the camp, this sequence will end. The next sequence is again about combat. You'll be faced with multiple soldiers attacking you at once. You can block their attacks, and if you're close enough, follow up with a heavy attack. Or, if your timing is good enough, parry and counterattack. The best technique I found for myself was to wait for an incoming attack, roll dodge, and then heavy attack from behind. You can usually get one or two heavy attacks in after you've dodged an attack in this way. After you've dispatched all the soldiers, you move on to the final sequence. If you've made it this far, you'll also be rewarded with the Necromancer achievement at this time. This is where the two assassins engage in combat with Geralt, and we know how that turned out. You cannot defeat Geralt here, instead the assassin Ox will die, and the dream ends. Now that the dream has ended, Geralt will be relaying what he has found to Deathmold at this time. You now know that the sorceress Sheila was involved in the attack, and you also know where the Kingslayer's hideout is. Deathmold tells Geralt that Sheila was just here during the ritual and has now left the camp. Geralt leaves the camp for the Kingslayer's hideout. This is where this part of the quest ends, and I'll pick up the next part in my next video.